Hello, we are live. Oh. I'll just get my drink because I haven't had a drink here yet. Hi, Jess. Oh, you were quick. <laughs> How are you, Jess? Are you doing good? I'll just give it a few more minutes. Um, <laughs> I'm first. Yes, you are. <laughs> And we're not even 30 seconds in. <laughs> I am good. And you? Yeah, I've been all right. That, yeah, that, I mean, they've been keeping busy. <gasps> hey, Tony. How, how are you? Oh, we've got two people in the house now. Well, Tony, why are you popping up? I only keep seeing there's one person coming up. Oh, it might be a technical error. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, how about you? I'm okay. Yeah, I'm all right. But um, I'm just really, really glad we're doing the live stream because exciting newsies alert. And um, I really wanted to share like a, a little bit of update. I don't know if there's going to be a Q&A tonight. Probably not. But um, we're probably going to be talking about... Um, uh, we're just going to be talking a bit about Britannic, uh, though. Uh, uh, I don't exist. Oh, Tony. Oh, hi, Crazy Lion. Long time no see. How are you? Hi, Victor. <laughs> Looks like we're getting more people coming on. This is brilliant. Oh, fantabulous. All right, I'll just give it like a few more seconds and then we'll be ready, steady, go. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be all. All right then. Hi, Bestie. How are you? Working on my light ship. Finished up. <gasps> oh, DK, you're gonna have to show us in Discord. That will be really fun. And speaking of Discord, if anyone wants to join my Discord group and it hasn't done, I will leave a link in the chat. If I can find him. There we go. Sometimes it's a bit bit hard for people just to copy and paste and just like do all the stuff sometimes i'm behind with technology <laughs> yeah so if you want to have a look at my discord group uh, there's the link for it in the chat uh great to see speak again after so long i'm not doing that oh i'm so glad to hear a crazy lion um jess says olympic and hawk collision i think hawk did it uh did it on purpose why was olympic playing to what oh you're talking about the hawk collision okay jess i did a video on that actually about a year ago so yeah, I, I think I don't know about that. Tony said, join, it's cool. Oh, Tony. Yes, Tony. Oh, that's my day. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I might be coughing like various times today because I've been to the doctor about my asthma today. And um, apparently, even though I'm bumping up on the prescription uh, for my inhaler I'm gonna probably check on myself see how I go because I might be going down for an x-ray later next week so it's it, it's just a kind of thing that goes up and down Victor uh, if the Titanic hadn't sunk Victor um another content creator who has a partnership with us Mike Brady he is he's done a video on about what if the Titanic didn't sink so I would check it out and for his point of view actually because you might get an answer there uh Jess says Hawk Bow was designed to uh, sink an um, enemy ship so Olympic maybe would have sunk well that's that's a good point that's a good point Hmm, never thought about that. Okay, but that's another video for another day, I think. That would definitely be great. Anyway, I think we're nearly four minutes in, so we'll probably get started on what's been going on. And now a lot of people don't know about this, but um, I've only started spreading it fully early this week because I created the petition about one week ago. It's only been a week, and... <laughs> I got up to over a hundred signatures in one week, which is unbelievable. I I thought there was no way of a possibility that would happen, but there we go. It's, it's happened. Britannic slipway. Yes, that's what I'm going to be talking about. Jess. Jess is on the ball. So, what's been happening is that um, where to start? Because I haven't really fully explained it on YouTube yet, haven't I? Um, so what's happening? Well, I'll tell you what's happening. I'm actually on a mission and I'm on a mission 
to actually try and get Britannic a war memorial plaque on slipway number two. Now, for those who don't know, I have been to see the Titanic Belfast Museum back in April. And at the back of the museum, if you have seen it before, at the back of the museum, there is a a, a big area, but there is a small garden and then there is a side where it has little benches and chalk uh, shaped like lifeboats and a um like different memorials um stand up stones. I don't know what you call them, but they're kind of like little slipways for what you can see the view, but with all the names down there. These are the slipways of the Olympic class liners, and one of them was the Titanic's one, which was one that has all like the chalk whiteboards with the lifeboats and the benches. And the other is a memorial garden. Now, some people have been confused by that because originally it's classed as the Olympic Memorial Garden, but it turns out it's at the real name is the Titanic Memorial Garden. So I think I skipped ahead of there myself, but these but the garden and the other one were the slipways that originally built the Titanic, the Olympic, and the Britannic. But I'm not focusing on the Titanic slipway, which is the one I described earlier with all the fancy chalk lifeboats. I'm talking about the other side, the Memorial Garden. And the Memorial Garden was where the Olympic and the Britannic were built. And even though the whole slipways are dedicated to Titanic. There has been one sister that has been cast out and there are little boards as well above the slipways for which you you can read about the information on the Olympic and the Britannic, but Britannic is never even mentioned. Why was she never mentioned? Well, that is something a little bit of a mystery. And when I... I heard about it for like a while because a lot of people, especially um, an organisation called Titanic Connections, which uh, used to run as a whole group, uh, they've been saying for years that Britannic deserves recognition, especially with her effort during the First World War, because as a hospital ship, she is cl- classified as a war, a Royal War Dalian, I I cannot pronounce the word, the B word. <laughs> oh, but, but but that means from what I understand. But the Badalian, uh, I I know I can't really pronounce it. But in other words, it she worked in the um during the military service as a hospital ship, and during that time she was carrying loads of injured patients and those patients were were serving during the war but unfortunately she did sink and 30 lives were lost so that meant that the Britannic was lost while she was in military service and people did die during the first world war in that area and these 30 names did classify as those who died in the first world war in general but there, on Slipway 2, there is no mention of Britannic whatsoever. And even though there's a war memorial dedicated to her in London, which I didn't know about until recently, I just think in her hometown of Belfast, especially with the Slipway she's on, why is she not getting the recognition that she deserves? Who knows? So when I was talking with my Discord group on there the other day, I thought, okay, let, let's see what we can do. And I was having a debate night about it because some I don't know who it was, but someone came up with the idea of uh, saying, why is not the Britannic getting the recognition she deserves? Because everyone was talking about slipways for some odd reason. And um, I looked into the conversation and I said, "Okay, let's have an emergency. Well, not emergency. Let's have a uh, last minute debate night. And then... And then when we did that, everyone was talking and talking. And I thought, I'm going to do something live when I'm doing that. So I asked, hey, guys, do you want me to do the most craziest thing that's going to be happening right now? And they went, what are you going to do, says? And I said, 
what about if I sh- screen share the whole my whole screen on Discord? I would create a petition for the Britannic, and <laughs> I did just that. And originally, it was supposed to be for both Olympic and Britannic. Because the Olympic was going, oh, she was um, considered as a warship, a troop ship, but nothing was really much that I could find about her. And um, I did have a talk with a few historians, and they said Olympic was mentioned was mentioned already, but not Britannic. But Britannic had a bit more of, had facil- uh, fatalities. So, yeah, why do I keep saying the wrong words today? What is wrong with me? Um, they had the the right that they had the fatalities during that time and those were the ones that were mentioned in the London memorial but I thought maybe we can have actually the same on the place and on the spot where the Britannic was built so we've changed Olympic and Britannic down to tide not to Titanic thank you pardon from Olympic to Britannic to just Britannic. And since then, I've been trying to share the petition, which got over to 100 signatures as of today. Wow, it is absolutely mad. But at the same time, I've been trying to contact um, people to get like support. So I've had um, support from divers who died to the wreck of the Britannic. I contacted Simon Mills, the British Royal Legion, um, I tried to contact the BBC Northern Ireland news. I've been trying to um, what was the other thing? I tried to get like uh attentions from authors and historians as well, and I did have some um side, including Tad Finch. Yeah, the Tad Finch who wrote the book on the Sea of Glass. I managed to get him to sign it for some reason, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, so I've been going around back and forth, and then Jake and DK, bless them, they have been sharing the petition back and forth as well. And I just noticed that DK's mum actually have signed the petition today. So, Sherry, if you are watching this, thank you so much. That truly, truly means a lot. And you should be so proud of your son, DK. He's done a lot for this channel, really. And I, I definitely think he deserves a huge round of applause. Love you, Bestie. <laughs> but we still have a long, long way to go. Just because we've got over 100 signatures doesn't mean it's not going to stop there. And the other people that I've been trying to contact to is the ones who own the slipways. So I tried the Titanic Belfast Museum and they said, OK, don't contact us. The best people to talk to is the Maritime Belfast Trust contacted them but they said no let's do titanic quarter limited they were the ones that owned the slipway i thought okay so what is really going on here and basically i did write to them thinking okay let, let's make it uh, as though it's going to happen i haven't had a response from them since then and it's been really frustrating, <laughs> it, especially um, really, really, really frustrating, especially with like bits that are going on behind the scenes and all of that. But I'm not going to say what they are because I want to keep them private. But it's 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 just been really a, a, a challenging, really to throw things to say at the least. But yeah, I, I definitely think it was. No, it, it's been a really positive journey so far, and I think that's the thing I really needed just to just to do that really and I never thought I would see myself doing it but I, I definitely think it was really beneficial not just for the community but for myself because one it's given me hope and repurpose to actually believe in myself a bit more as a person because I I was really doubtful and I was a bit upset recently for some reason, but I don't know why. But but uh, I found out that doing this petition made me feel like I was my old self again and it gave me more faith to believe in myself as well as believing in the people who I really love. And so that was really beneficial for me and for my mental health. And second, it's given me a chance to learn about the Britannic a lot more so that's made me very very grateful for that really because I've always been a Titanic girl 
I've all, oh, always loved Titanic. I've studied Titanic and I've really appreciated Titanic, but I never really considered thinking about the other ships. But since I've done the Britannic petition, I've grown to love her more than ever. And I think she truly deserves the recognition she really deserves. So I'm definitely going to need loads of help because it will mean the whole world to the community. And yeah, I, I definitely think that that's probably like, it really but um and do you know what the strangest thing was there are even though there were people who said okay well, it's a definitely a good idea there were some people who who didn't think I could do it I didn't didn't think it was going to be possible because uh, some and I keep getting like comments like I'll just leave her alone talking about the wreck not the plaque and then some um some of them said <laughs> including one member of my family who who said so i i think with the memorial garden since it's to do with titanic no one's going to be interested in that and i thought mm, just wait and see because there are more people who are interested in other ships than you think so what what happened was <laughs> what once um i got the petition out and um i've been keeping my parents updated <laughs> on like the whole thing and they seem to be really really pleased about it but um but one member of my family when he found out <laughs> when he found out about how much the petition was actually working and had a very positive effect I changed his mind changed <laughs> and and I think that's really lovely to, to see because um it, it just shows you that things have grown more than ever really and it's really great to have a community just increasing and I think that's really wonderful and this is why Britannic means a huge amount to not just myself but to the community as well because I always put the community first but but it's mainly about the community community is always important whether it's home community maritime community any kind of community and if some and if it's something that you believe in and you want to achieve something by either following your dreams or just doing it for the greater good or you just wanted to do something because it is something that you never considered but you've grown to appreciate to do that part don't don't let anything stop you you can do whatever you want but just as long as it's um good and it's um not against the law but it's really good to have like something's very very special and I definitely think Britannic's definitely played a huge part in my life without knowing it so I'm very very grateful for that but I have left the petition in the description box down below so it will be lovely that if anyone can share and assign the petition that will be really really great and the more we get the better I'm really hoping that Titanic Quarter Limited will get back to me fingers crossed I'm not sure they will but I will keep trying and I will try get my voice out there and I have made some other plans as well but I won't explain it here because everything will be explained in the petition itself so if you want to have a look at that then definitely um head over there because all the details on there and yeah that, that's it really I realized that I've missed a lot of comments so I'm gonna try and get up and catch up as soon as I can I may not get to all of them and if I don't I'm really sorry but I'm gonna have to try and do my best and I can see there's a lot of Do Doctor Who fans out there but Doctor Who who's excited for Doctor Who that, that, let's do like the next thing who's excited for Doctor Who Jess says um they most um they mostly have a memorial to the Britannic 30 victims and survivors. That's the one in London, right? Right, Jess? Hi, hi, Captain Obvious Miss. How are you? Blue, hello, Danny, hello. Um uh, DK says, speaking of Titanic, my copy of Ghost Liners came in the mail today. <gasps> oh, that is really exciting. Oh, that is really, really cool. Uh True Crazy Lion says, that's brilliant. It says, self belief can be difficult to get back, but it's great to feeling when you do. Good for you. Oh, thanks, True Crazy Lion. It really means a lot. Thank you. And uh, did you say to Sam as well? Says Jess. No, I did not say. I've been sharing the petition in the self promo it, on the historic travel server, but I haven't told Sam yet. But I really need 
need to do that actually i i definitely need to get onto it why did i not think of that before i might have to get um do the same with mike as well um i don't really know but we'll, we'll have to see where how we go but i've been sharing the petition on in the ocean liner uh designs server as well and a lot of signatures have come from people from there surprisingly as well as the facebook groups but yeah so that, that's something positive that that's definitely really positive but um Anyway, we'll move on then to Doctor Who because we're getting into Doctor Who now. Uh, Captain Alex, hello, how are you? Today is like, oh, it's your birthday. And no one shouts at obvious. Um, and the most is that there's no one shouts at, oh, Alex, oh, bless you. Happy birthday. Sorry that you didn't get any birthday wishes. And um, everyone, say, please say happy birthday to Alex. Alex, what are you going to be doing for your birthday today? Uh, and DK's up there. Thanks. Well done, DK. See, Alex, you, you've got you've got people who really care about you at your birthday. And uh, Jess says there is a Britannic uh, memorial in Greece. I didn't know there was one in Greece. Um, but they must also make a Britannic memorial in her slipway. Oh, I did not know there was a memorial in Greece. That's really interesting. And I know that a certain someone is going to Greece next year. I'm not saying who, but it's not me. So, <laughs> but um, I, I definitely think it is really, really, really exciting just to have something like that. But yeah, I definitely think that if there is a Greek memorial to Titanic and if there are pictures, if anyone has existing pictures already uh, for this yet, please share them in the Discord group. I, it will be so great to actually see the Greek memorial. I can't remember where the London one was. I think it is it down near St Paul's Cathedral, but I really don't know. So, yeah, where is Mr Britannic? Where is Jake? where is he when you need him <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness we're on a roll with like oh, comments on that and 22 minutes in that's good yeah <clears throat> sorry about um, everything messing up on like the bed I'm not stable I'm not usually on my desk uh, so far I haven't been sitting on my desk recently because I, I've just been like chilling in my bed really and it's cold because it, it's starting to feel like autumn in the UK now and um yeah I just don't really want to go out of bed I, I just feel all snuggly and warm um yes I can send the video for Greece and Discord oh Jess you are amazing thank you so much and uh, thank you uh thank you all at this time I'll get the first place oh Alex bless you well I'm not sure there's going to be a quiz on tonight actually because I don't think we've prepared any questions but well if we don't have a, a Q and a tonight we will make sure we'll have a Q&A when um we get to next friday i think i'm around next friday but i'm not too sure but i know i wasn't around last friday because i was out i was like busy but i know i did the disney live stream on like the last monday to make up for that but i really am not too not not too sure if for this one but if not tonight then we'll make it a very very big one uh, a late birthday present as a uh, thing but dk says i haven't thought of any been busy myself oh no worries dk i'll i'll just say say this okay let's make a deal no quiz tonight but have we'll have a very big quiz either next friday or when i'm next on does that sound good with everyone so if it sounds good, please give like a little wave or a thumb up. <laughs> but we'll definitely make it a big one. I will have work, have a chat with DK about it. I will definitely have a chat with DK and then we will think of something. DK, you said something about your mum. Let's grow up on the chat um, because I've missed so many, so many comments, actually. Hang on. There we go. I can't. Uh, I don't complete. Ah, there we go. 
I'll probably end up sharing this live stream to her as well. Oh, you're my, oh yeah, I got you. I got you where we're going from now. Sorry, got itchy toe. Oof. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good to me. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Oh, brilliant. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'm really sorry about not being prepared, but you guys, you are amazing. And I really do appreciate how amazing you are, even if there's spanner in the works. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, so I think we'll probably make it a big one. Well, we'll probably try and make it all Britannic related because Britannic Month is coming up. And it will be the 3rd of November for Britannic Month. I can't believe it's November already. Where's the time gone? So I definitely think um, it will be something I like to do. I haven't even like finished halfway through the scripts of, for Britannic Month. I need to get onto that. I, I keep saying I would, but I never do it. So it's definitely really something that I need to get on pronto. But uh, we're just going to have to see like, how I go. Jeff says, I am in love with the uh, my dog. I say hi to him. Uh, we share for time. Oh, what, what's your dog's name, Jess? I'll give him a shout out. Oh, we, we all love our cats and dogs uh, um, uh, in the community. Because in Discord, we have lots and lots of pictures of pets and animals we love our animals we're, we're we're very kind and we're very cool with animals we're the cool kids when it comes to animals <laughs> but yeah it's definitely it definitely always really good but then also um with botanic related to this there's something that i came across which i didn't know that was there but apparently there were some furnishings from the second class library that I wanted to actually put in and squeeze in as a last minute video it was something that I think either Jake or Jess you sent that to me on discord it was um uh, it was about the furnishings but they were uh, sold on display in Ireland I believe um DK uh, today is International Black Cat Day. Meow, meow. Oh, Mizu! Oh, happy International Black Cat Day to all the black kitties out there. We love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> and there go the hearts. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it how the hearts do that. What, what happens if I do a kiss and the blow? Let's try that. No. <laughs> we'll, we'll just this then. That, that might work yeah so much as that there we go i don't know why it will do that without kiss and blood that's just weird oh well never mind it's youtube being youtube <laughs> true crazy line uh pets are the family we choose to, uh, for ourselves love them oh yeah well, we, who doesn't love pets their true crazy line pets are the best but speaking of pets who is your favorite animal that was on board a ship? It could be Titanic. It could be Britannic. It, it could even be um, um, on a different ship, like a Cunard ship or something like that. But please share your thoughts. I know that my favorite pet on the Titanic was Jenny the cat. And uh, I know Sam got me into Jenny the cat, but oh, what a sweet little girl she is. But she was really fortunate to disembark at Southampton with her kittens because uh, I she must have known that something was going on because animals are very clever at censoring things. And I think in my mind, she was just one brilliant mama. It really, really is, but um, mama. <laughs> uh, True Crazy Lion says, uh, that's cool, Dustin. Love black cats. DK's got two black cats himself, and I, I they're so cute. They really, really are adorable. He always um gives them shout outs and pictures on uh, Discord as well. But oh, I, I love Smokey and Cubby, they're so sweet. <laughs> I, I don't know there was an animal on the Britannic. I'm sure there was. I don't know. I'll have to look it up, Jess, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it was there. There will be a mi uh, video together this coming Monday. Yeah, there will be a video featuring Smokey and Kelby. <laughs> oh, but it's uh, so lovely. But who's, uh, but also, favorite black cats in TV, film, and pop culture. Would you prefer Salem from Sabrina the Teenage Witch or Binks from Hocus Pocus? Share your thoughts. Share your thoughts on your favourite black kitty. <laughs> but it's a toughie one, really, because everyone loves uh, the cats, really. But mostly, um, 
But there are some people I know that are really into Hocus Pocus and they love the name Binks. But um, I, I definitely think that if I have a black cat, I would definitely love to name him Binks. Oh, Alex says Salem 100%. Oh, yes. You can't go wrong with good old Salem Saber Hagen. <laughs> he's, he's the cool cat. He's the cool cat, even though he was sentenced to 100 years <laughs> for world domination. But that, that's that's the thing, really, because cats love world domination. <laughs> uh, who was the animal's name? Oh, we were talking about like the black cats, either Salem, Saberhagen from Sabrina the Teenage Witch or Binks from Hocus Pocus. That was what we were talking about. But yeah, it, it's been really, really good fun to have like all of these cool cats. <laughs> but I, I definitely think there was... I might have to check if there was one uh, on the Britannic, but definitely one on Titanic. But if you are into Michael Morpogo, there is a book that he wrote many years ago um, about a cat that was on the Titanic and survived the disaster. Now, I know this is a work of fiction because I don't know if there was a cat on board the Titanic on the uh, day she sank after the iceberg collision but i i can imagine really that that could have been a fictional story but it's still a good story uh and it's called uh casper a uh, caspian prince of cats but it's been a long time since i read it but if you want to read it i would really highly recommend it because michael mopogo even though he's classified as a children's author he's one of the best british authors out there um, there is a ghost book about the Titanic and Britannic, but it's a bad book in my opinion. <gasps> oh, Jess, I think you're going to have a head-to-head -head battle with DK because if you mentioned ghost ships and DK got the book and he got the book today, if you if that's the title, you and DK are going to have a bit of a ding dong, Jess. <laughs> Oh, that would be so funny to see you guys in Discord having a butting heads with each other. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So it, it's been really crazy on how, like, things are there lately. Uh, Captain Alex says, uh, now nah, here's a work of fiction. Raise the Britannic. What do you think? Uh, no. <laughs> well, I mean, Raise the Titanic was one thing, and I know that the movie was really bad. But I don't think it was bad as Titanic 666, which will not even go in that. That film is strictly forbidden now, according to people's. But um, it, I think Raise the Britannic work of fiction? I don't know. I, I mean, definitely... Give us a secret there. Uh, that book, what Jake um also have. Yeah, I think Jake must do have the the ghost ships, and um, because I know he he's got a stack full of libraries. Wonder what happened to Titanic three two six six five. You know what? That's a really good question, DK. I never even thought about that, but I know there was a there was going to be a Titanic too, but it never came to pass. But thank goodness it didn't. Because that that would have not worked out well otherwise. Uh, Jess says, I hate 666. It's worse than the Britannic movie. Yeah, I absolutely agree. It was really worse. Because um, I, I've i roasted it with a few others like two years ago when we watched it on Discord when we came out. And oh boy, that was the most brilliant thing, roasting Titanic 666. That was Mwah, the creme de la creme <laughs> but I don't think I'll be watching Titanic 6 6 again but if I did I would definitely love to roast it <laughs> but yeah it, it, it's just like definitely one of those things really but gosh we're 33 minutes in blimey well we'll probably give this about another 20 minutes or so yeah we'll, we'll give it another 20 minutes and then after that, I'll probably say my goodnight because I'm probably going to have to head off um, early tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's a little bit of a weird angle because since my um, laptop's on my lap, it's not going to be really helpful. But yeah, <laughs> uh, DK says, I'm going to watch Titanic 666. It's best uh, for me to wa watch while my <laughs> You're gonna get drunk there, DK. <laughs> we, we should have like um, oh, what do we call it? We we should have like a little, 
um, I don't know what you call it, like like drink shots or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we, if we do, we won't we'll, we'll have that. I don't know. I just really don't know. But it's a food for thought that uh, we'll just have to see because I think people will be really against it on Discord. Uh, on Sam like um, on Sam's li live stream, I'm the only one who talks all about Britannic every time. Really. Like, no one mentions Britannic at all on Sam's live stream. Oh, I'm going to have a few words with Samuel. Oh, I'm going to have a few words with him. So it's like, Sam, hey, Sam, why have you not mentioned Britannic? Sam, you hoo <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, because on Sam's live streams, everyone loves talking about other ships, mainly the Queen Mary and the Titanic. But, um, there was one another ship that pe people mention on the live stream, but I don't know what it is. Um, they mention uh, it, but it's rare. Ah, that's fair enough. That makes sense. Because um, Britannic's not really as popular over at HT, but Britannic's popular here. So if you are fans of Britannic, come to History Inside a Nutshell. Come. <laughs> but it, it's definitely really nice to have Britannic more mentioned anyway before because with the petition it's really important just to have like loads of a bits out there really and that's why Britannic gets um like behind the wings really because she's not uh, usually recognized but hopefully if the plaque and the petition and the plaque is successful we may have a chance that Britannic's popularity will grow. And I'm hoping this to be the case. I'm really hoping. But I never kept a journal of what the track um, is for the Britannic. But I definitely need to keep a journal because um, it will be actually really important just to work on the progress, see how it's going. And yeah, just to see how Jenny goes. Because I might publish it in the book one day. I just don't know yet. But uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. But it'll be nice to keep a journal. And it'll be best to have a look back on it, I think. Um, Sam don't know much about the Britannic. He didn't know about the about uh, Sheila Macbeth Mitchell. Oh, did he not see the interview? Uh, yeah, because Sam doesn't really watch a lot of videos, does he? But mainly he's busy, really. He's a busy man. So is Mike. And me, I'm a busy girl as well. We all got busy lives, really. Uh, sometimes people just don't really have the time to catch up on everything. But who knows? Maybe one day. But you just never know. Uh, Captain Alex, the show where we sail into our... Oh, Alex! Boom! Oh, you, you got me. <laughs> You got me. <laughs> True crazy lion. Bosey McBoatface gets mentioned a lot on Sav's live stream more than uh, any real ships do. Bosey McBoatface? Who's Bosey McBoatface? <laughs> oh, okay. I, I think if he is a user on Sam's live stream, if he's a user on Sam's live stream, I'll definitely have to look out for him. Um, if James Cameron uh, did make a movie about a Britannic, the Britannic w would have uh, be a lot popular than it happened with the Titanic. You know what? I wish there was someone who did a movie on Britannic, actually. But I was going to do a script on the Britannic disaster and featuring, like, Arthur John Priest, uh, Archie Jewell, and Violet Jessup in, like, a time loop. But I, I didn't do that. I need to, but I don't do that. Uh, DK, to be fair, I thought Olivia was messing uh, around at first until I looked it up. Both in uh, McBoat faces seriously boaty mcboatface is a real vessel how is this possible dk okay hang on you're just gonna have to let me um research it okay let's have a look oh well you know it is um uh, a boaty mcboatface is a vessel also known as boaty okay that's interesting <laughs> okay let's see on google google says i uh, did the boat actually get named boaty mcboatface the name uh, Boaty McBoatface, despite receiving more than 10 times the vol number of votes of Sir David Attenborough, was assigned to one of the sub submersibles deployed aboard the SS David Attenborough instead. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, because I can imagine that ship was named after uh, Sir David Attenborough. I might, might look into it. That could be an idea for next year's video. That might be a good thing. 
<laughs> um, it's uh, what happened if you, you let the internet decide on the ship's name? Absolutely, DK. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Jess says, I wish uh, they explore um, the Britannic uh, Grand on her wreck. Well, that could happen you just never know because there's some more um photographic evidence that's coming into light recently but who knows maybe it could be a possibility maybe yes maybe no who knows you just don't know really until like it's there <laughs> but uh yeah uh a grand staircase yes um, and also it depends uh, how much uh, of uh, the Grand Staircase has survived because there might not be any left or there might be a few. I don't really know. But um, we'll just gonna have to have to see if, if there are pictures there that exist, those don't. Not too sure, really, but we're just going to have to <laughs> uh, see for sure. But yeah, 40 minutes in. Oh, not too long to go. Oh, that's been really great stuff. So what can we focus on as a final topic before we call it a night? I think we can talk about if there's anything you can change the world and if there's anything what you can do, what would it be and why? Um, <laughs> everyone's been everyone's been talking about Sam's uh, live streams and uh, or what people get up to <laughs> in the live chat. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Oh, oh dear. Uh, imagine the Brat Britannic Grand Staircase did survive. It would be amazing. I agree. I won't imagine what it'd be looked like because I know um, Britannic. Excuse me. I know that Britannic, that patron of the Mediterranean, um, gives um, a good uh, clue, and um, because um, Titanic on the Ring Glory, they did a rendition of what the Britannic could have been like as a passenger vessel if the First World War hadn't started, and it does look beautiful. And there was supposed to be an organ, and I just think an organ on a ship. In the 1910s, that would have been amazing. I definitely think it would be a very special, amazing thing to actually listen to. It will be lovely. I definitely think it will be. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely, I think it's, it's just one of those things that, oh, it's gone. It's gone. Uh, Blue says, I don't know. Um, Jess says, there is a photo of... A Britannic's Grand Staircase um, with nurses on always at the Aft Staircase. Oh, I did not know that. I wish Jake was here because he could have first said the answer, really. Um, I don't really know about that. I'll have to ask him. <laughs> well, 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 we'll have to ask him, Jess. We'll definitely have to ask him. Um, yeah, I, I definitely think that. What would be the plans for the future if the petition was successful? Do you want me to talk about that before we wrap up? Or do you want to talk about something else uh, before wrapping up? It's entirely up to you guys. It's, it's definitely up to you. Um, I could send the photo. Jess, you are amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, please. Okay, so before we wrap up, we'll probably, since Jess said yes, before we wrap up, we'll probably talk about what would be the future if it does happen and if everything i write on the petition will become true i would love to see the plaque in person and probably uh own a britannic model so that would happen and then take the britannic model with me and then get pictures of it beside the plaque on the slipway how cool would that be if it did happen i definitely think it would be a dream come true now I don't think it will happen this year as much as I would love it to. I definitely think it won't happen uh, this year. But next year or maybe in a few years, who really knows? We'll just have to have to see how everything goes. To answer your question, I would make a movie based on the other ships. Sam put uh, down your Titanic models. <laughs> yeah, Sam does talk a lot about the Titanic, doesn't he? But not just the ti Titanic. He talks about the Queen Mary as well, I think. Uh, Britannic would be uh, uh, Britannic would be where special to you. Oh, Jess, do you mean Britannic uh, would be um, special, like owning the model, or the Britannic uh, will be like more special to that part of life? What do you mean by that, Jess? Mm, but that, but um, that was a good point actually, because I just definitely think it would just be nice to 
Oh, why not for Britannic? I, I definitely think Britannic should have the recognition she deserves. That's the most important thing, anyway. Oh, my, my voice is going. <laughs> oh. Um, if she would mention me, the uh, course of you. Oh, okay. So you mean that a Britannic would play a special part in my life if everything was successful? Do you know what? You're right there, Jess. I think that would be the case. I definitely think it will be, because it will be like um, it, it'll be like when Philip Lanley discovered the skeleton of Richard the Third about ten years ago. Now I think it might be something like that, but I don't know. But um, yeah, that'll be that'll be something just to look back on in the near future, because it will be so wonderful. And it, even if I get married or I have children I, I would definitely love to introduce my children to my story and especially mainly the Britannic the Titanic and the Olympic and I would probably take them to the slip boys I definitely would <laughs> I think that that's the ultimate goal if I become a mum I would definitely love to <laughs> do that because I mean, who wouldn't say that and if they get into history especially maritime history I would say Sarah <laughs> I know I'm only joking, but um, yeah, um, I would uh, love Britannic outside the as the hospital ship as inside the ocean liner. Yeah, I mean, I I definitely think um, it, it. I don't know like how to explain this, but if the Britannic was still um survive, I I think she would have um. Would have been like grand as a hospital ship, even though if the Olympic, even if the Olympic uh, wasn't scrapped, she would uh, be a good ship to go around. And I always think, why, why she couldn't be like a museum like the Queen Mary? Because that would have been awesome. Though I found out the other day that some of Olympic's parts were built, well, were recycled to build the Queen Mary, which I did not know that, and that's pretty cool. So. I'm definitely going to have to have a look into that for a future video because that's a really interesting topic and I never thought about it. But there we go. <laughs> that's another thing that that was uh, survived from the Olympic. And I, I think it would be really nice just to have something like that. I definitely think. Um, DK, a lot of maintenance. Restoration would uh, be put into the Olympic, which would require lots of dollars. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Well, it could be pounds in British money because don't forget, Olympic was a British ship, even though uh, an American company owned the well, co owned the White Star Line. But uh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Uh, Jess said, uh, Britannic sad story as so many people died, and Britannic sad story um is she didn't become what what she should have been i agree with you jess i definitely agree olympic would be such an, an amazing chip to check out if she was still around today you know what trace the true crazy line i definitely think that will be the case I, I definitely think it will be something really really special right we are just about to wrap up here i think because yeah it's nearly bedtime for me and uh, we also come back into live stream. But yeah, we'll, we'll definitely wrap it up from that. Guys, I'm so sorry there was no quiz, but me and DK are going to make up for it. And rather than just having to sit down and talk about it, we're going to have an extremely long quiz. And it, it'll Friday, next like, Friday live stream will just be about quiz night. And that will be a very big pinky promise. So DK, get your best questions ready and, um, and, research away Let, let's make it big let's make it good and let's make it fun i guarantee we will do it as a team i can't imagine how many questions there are <laughs> we'll figure something out don't worry dk we'll definitely definitely do that thanks for live stream great fun. oh you're welcome line and thank you so much for coming it will be will be good britannic quiz yeah maybe because it's britannic months so might as well <laughs> But then we might have a few others too. You just don't know. <laughs> we don't know until then. Oh, maritime history. Hello, maritime. We're just going to have to wrap up. I'm really sorry, but we're going to have to wrap up the live stream. But maritime, there's not a quiz tonight, but there is going to be a quiz 
next friday i will ch- double check the diary but it will be next friday so but i've asked dk to make a really big quiz so ne- next week's one is all going to be all about quizzes so don't worry it's all going to be a big one and we'll make sure that we'll get your heads into shape for for next friday then maritime but yeah we'll, we'll definitely do that oh how exciting yes it is exciting maritime and hopefully you will get the crown or maybe someone else will get the crown you just don't know yet just don't know yeah for sure but yeah we'll, we'll definitely prepare things so we'll see how the things go so yeah we'll, we'll probably wrap up here here now so thank you so much for coming on today and once again thank you so much for all of your amazing support with the petition it really truly means a lot and again if you would like to share the petition the link will be in the description box down below and if you want to hand out on my discord page i will leave a link here in the chat so we'll leave it here forgive me for my aggressive typing but uh, if you haven't joined the community on discord because we are amazing we are fun we're inclusive and we enjoy each time here so we, we definitely got fun facts and fun times to fill and anyway i'm ho- i hope you really enjoy your day everybody and i will see you very soon and if you follow my second channel journey through the ages there is a new video coming out but it's it's a recycled one that i've filmed in may but it will be coming out tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m british time and for here i will catch up with with you within the next video on monday yay time for halloween and until then have a wonderful weekend stay safe stay well and we'll see you very very soon take care everyone bye bye